Okay, welcome everyone to another episode of Marketo Fu. Uh, I realized on episode 35, I forgot to go back and mention everything that's changed in the last year and a half since I uh, took a little bit of a sabbatical from Marketo Fu. So uh, I, I moved on from Fathom, which is a digital marketing agency outside of Cleveland, Ohio, and I began working with Amazon Web Services. So um, that said, that that's been a little bit of the reason for the delay in uh, continuing the broadcast, but now that Marketo has enabled a sandbox and um, we have a, a place to work that's um, even more objective, I think this is going to be continue to be a, a useful, beneficial series for those of you that are either new to Marketo or um, you know just want to get some best practices out of out of the platform. So, uh, what episode thirty six is going to focus on is the use of snippets in Marketo. So, snippets are just reusable pieces of HTML, so you can use them in uh, emails and landing pages in Marketo, and they can also be dynamic. So we're going to take a quick look at what that looks like inside Marketo. So I'm going to share my screen here. And I think that works. Yep. Cool. So I'm in the Marketo sandbox, and I'm in the design studio, actually. So when you go to the design studio, you can go to, oh, sorry for my dog. Uh, you can go to snippets, and you can create a new snippet just like you would any other uh, email template, form, or landing page. And what I've already done is if you see the snippet, you can uh, edit a draft. And what we use these for at AWS and a lot of a lot of clients I've had in the past is they'll they'll use a reusable piece of HTML. Like we use our, our footers at AWS or our headers for our emails. Uh, in this case, we also we also have used uh, cross promotional banners, like things we want to just sit into our emails and then dynamically update over time. So in this case, uh, in, in that use case, you could use just a simple image. So I, uh, when you make Marketo Foo, you can force people to look at pictures of your dog. So what, I've, what I have here is a picture of my dog in my backyard. And uh, basically, you can customize this HTML any way that you would by any other means. So uh, I can go to the HTML editor and customize this any which way. So I have uh, some max width uh, and max height. Um, things in here. So for the email template I'm about to show you, that will work out. And uh, you can also segment by things. So if I wanted to choose a segmentation, we don't have any segmentations enabled in the sandbox, but if you can imagine if you wanted to segment by um, time zone or geo or uh, use case or anything like that, that the specific, specific to your usage of Marketo, if you build a Marketo segmentation for it, you can make sure that this appears here. So one of the ways we do that at AWS is we use uh, a, a segmentation for language. So if you specify that you prefer to speak English, we'll serve up all your content in English. If you specify that you prefer, uh, prefer to speak sport Portuguese, we'll somehow translate Tango is the bestest dogi to the Portuguese version of that. And uh, we, we could create multiple versions and, and then make sure that when we send you the email, that whatever your language preference is, Marketo will honor it. So the way you would drive this in a Marketo email then is if you, um, if I go over to uh, back into marketing activities, I've already created a program here and I have a uh, Marketo Foo snippet demo ready for us. So all you would simply do in this email template, so this template has nothing in it, right? It's just pretty bare bones, lorem ipsum all the way. Uh, but basically what I would do is I would just uh, highlight, when you see a section like this, highlight, over uh, with the dash blue line, what you just simply do is right click and replace with snippet. And I would just select the appropriate snippet for my library. Now this is by a uh, partition or workspace by workspace basis. So Marketo Foo snippet was in the sandbox uh, workspace partition. And uh, so I can, I can see it, this workspace can see it. I can select Marketo Foo snippet, select save. And then what you'll see pop in is Tango is the best doggy. Um, but it, like I said, if I if I had segmented segmented that here over on the snippet itself by language or whatever else, and I had uploaded a different version of this text overlaid on the image with that translated text, what I would see back on the email, if I were to segment this by language as well, I would be able to put a, the snippet would automatically update to say that to satisfy that particular segment. So. Um, that is essentially how snippets work. They're just reusable pieces of HTML. How we use them most often in AWS, and I've seen a lot of uh, clients use them, is they'll just have their snippets be, their, their footers, footers be snippets, and then they can swap out whether they're transactional or 
uh, operate or uh, marketing or or what have you, and and ensure that like especially at a big enterprise organization, if you have multiple different kinds of teams, like um, you know one team that ha handles like your ABM strategy and another team that handles certain types of accounts, you could have a different snippet custom to them that will display in your footers of your emails and your landing pages. So that's a very quick, simple tutorial uh, on snippets in Marketo. Uh, I'm going to find where where this is that I can shut down. Okay, cool. So I'm going to stop the screen share. Okay, cool. So that was a quick, quick, very quick tutorial in how snippets work in Marketo. Hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments, and we will keep the Marketo Foo episodes coming to you. So this has been episode 36. I've been Joe Wrights. We'll talk soon. Thanks.